So we've already upgraded the TS-590 once with the um, VGS, VSG1 unit, which is the voice, voice unit. Today's the TCXO, which is the frequency stability oscillator. Also these amazing military looking side panels. Right, two jobs today. We've got the TXCO uh, stability oscillator thing to put in this TS590. And I've also got these really cool side plates. I'll put a link to where you can get these from. Uh, I just thought they were really cool. So anyway, I thought the most difficult job is probably putting this thing in, because we've got to solder it in. This is the official Kenwood part. I was going to look for the Chinese knockoff at £10 or something, but I read some reports that it was uh, doing some bad things. All right, so it is absolutely tiny. That is the size. I thought it would be a bit bigger. Small, isn't it? Now, I was told by Tony down at Martin Lynch that the charges are... It doesn't need adjusting 99% of the time you put it in and it fixes all your frequency stability problems you might have. This is an amazing radio. I just want, this is the final upgrade, excuse me. This is the final upgrade for me. So we need to take the bottom cover off first. I'll shut up and do this in speed time. Right, with the bottom cover off, apparently, because I don't remember how I did this before. Oh, here it is. Uh, I've got to take this board here. I've got to take that board there, which is next to the volume and the writ and stuff. And there's one screw holding it in. Ah, there's the screw. Just there. All right. Now you've got to take these jumpers off. Both sides. I don't know how they come off. It says to save the jumper. Oh, hang on a minute, is that? Okay. I think that's soldered in, so we can leave that one. I think, I don't know. It doesn't say in a plumbing manual. And which way round does it go? I don't know a lot of things. Blimey, it's small. Uh, and one of the pins is slightly bent in the wrong place. Probably doesn't matter, does it? Which way around it goes? Oh, I'm not very good with small things. That's why I was terrified of buying this bloody thing. I can't see. My eyesight's all over the shot. Okay. Does it matter which way round it goes? Let's have a look at the instructions. <laughs> which are here, helpfully. For instructions, refer to the instruction manual provided. Well, luckily, I've got that over here. So, let's go and have a look. <sighs> okay, so... The... P... The... Uh, the... Uh, 
All right. So the adjustment hole is to the right of where the little pip is. Adjustment hole is to the right. Sorry, it was the wrong way around. If I'm going to follow their instructions. That's it. So now it's just a case of clamping that together somehow. I'm going to get Lockie's soldering iron and attempt to solder all this in. <laughs> all right, let's go and get the iron. All right, so Lockie wasn't using this, so I think what we'll do is we'll switch it on. I don't know what temperature this should be at. I don't want this to move around, do I? So I think what we should do is uh, put a little bit of tape on the ground, fold it over, and that should hold it still. Ish. And then when we push down, it should be all right. I'm not an electronics engineer, guys, you know. I'm just a geezer who tries his best. Uh, but this bit frightened me, to be honest. It just does. I mean, it's one of these things, if you do something often enough, it's kind of easy, but when you don't do it very often, it's not very easy. So let's just get a bit of heat onto that and no more. I think that's on. I don't think I've destroyed it yet. <laughs> I'm going to get some high powered glasses in a minute and double check this. You'd think they would supply a little PCB with it, don't you? Let me get some glasses. So I've got a little trick here that I wear some strong pair of glasses and then my glasses over the top and see what I'm doing in more detail. I haven't got a camera that can show you this, I'm sorry. I might take a photo. Yeah, I'll take a photo with my iPhone. It looks absolutely fine. So, thank goodness for that. Uh, photo. I'll take a bit of video for you. It's a bit difficult to see, isn't it? It all looks okay. All right. Right, I've got to put it back in now. Which way did it go? Okay, it's actually a couple of days later. I've cheated. I made a bit of a cock up. Um, yeah, just on the configuration of the jumpers and that sort of thing. And I've also, when I reviewed the footage, I realised that this could have done the two outside posts of the temperature compensating crystal os oscillator. T temperature TCXO. Uh, it just looks like I could have done a better soldering job. So I've done that. I'll give you a close up of that while I'm chatting. So it's just a case now of getting these pliers and pulling off these um, jumpers, but we need to save them for a rainy day just in case. So the idea is you pull the jumper off and just move it by, you know, one over and and that's that's done. So let's film this. As I said earlier, I'm not very good with uh, very small things, but anyway, we'll pull that off and put it on the next one. Then we'll pull that one off. I'll put that on the next one. So that will save these little jumpers for a rainy day. And then we can just plug the uh, TCX bo TCXO back in. Uh, I've said previously, I've got enormous, well, it feels like I've got enormous hands. Some people are just better with little things. 
I think. I don't know. I'm going to attempt to hold this while at the same time keeping the screw in the all over the shot. What? Oh, okay, I'll do it differently. I'll place the little board in. The next thing I'm worried about is how to calibrate this because the manual says listen to the tone at 10 megahertz. I can't hear it because I just can't receive that here. Uh, so I think we'll just sort of see what it, without any calibration, we'll see what it's like. All right, so technically that is in. The only thing we haven't done is actually calibrated the crystal. Um, I don't know what to do about that. All right, let's bang it back together and put it on the... Uh, I mean, I suppose I could calibrate it against the... TS590 or just fi find a fairly accurate signal on um, on the 10 meter band something like that let's, uh, let's put it on the bench upside down see if we can do that uh -huh. okay because I don't know what I'm doing I, I've um, <laughs> I, I, well I found this video which plays 800 hertz that's all it did and I played down at 100 hertz. Now I'm really comfortable with the my TS 990. So all I did is I transmitted 800 hertz because I couldn't find a signal from the headphones of the PC into the microphone, and I could hear it on, on here. So at least I've got the um, the 990 and the 590 in sync. It took a bit of fiddling, but we got there. I'm not going to film all that. But, um, and it was a bit out, actually. It was quite a bit out. I mean, you know, a couple of notes away, to be honest. We'll be able to prove that when we go out on the hills on the, on the 13th of August, as we're taking this with us. Uh, I might do a little test in the week, actually. Plug it in with the amplifier and everything and make sure it, it's cock on. But that is working, so we can bang it all back together again. So, uh, sorry about the false start. Um, but, you know, um, what do they say? Um, needs must, don't they? I had to find a way of finding an 800 hertz or any signal, frankly, that I could transmit on the 990 and at least sync up the 990 with the 590. That's all I want to do, to be honest, all right? And I recommend you do watch that. Um, I mean, if you actually wanted to do this upgrade yourself, I'll put a link to the video I, I just watched, actually, which was, you know, it was a professional guy and you knew what he was doing. It wasn't a hobbyist like me when it comes to electronics. Good, let's bang it all back together. By the way, I've got, I've got all my radios on these over spec 50 amp cables because sometimes I want to run a lot of power. Uh, whatever. Anyway, so that's when the thing's in the shack because I can apply these terminals straight to a power supply and if not I can just plug that straight into all the batteries so I've got everything on 50 amps because sometimes I might want to run a linear on one and whatever so anyway that's what I'm doing on the 12 volt front let's get this back on the bench and start to put these plates on because this looks a lot of fun uh, only one side can go one way I think so this man is a Polish fellow. This looks nice. Let me get this little camera. So these plates, they completely protect the front of the panel. He does supply little screws just for here. And then these little tails, if you lay the um, rig down on its back, you're going to protect from here as well. They're, I think they're steel, so you, it's not, I mean, it's not a portable, portable radio anyway, right? So, but it's great for holidays and stuff like that. And frankly, it just makes it look really mean. Now, let's install them now. Uh, I don't know if to use the washers or not. Put the washers underneath. That's strange, we get given washers. I don't know if we should use wash, washers or not. Seems a bit weird because these are machine screws. 
so what I've decided to do is put a little bit of tape each side of here and use the washers he supplies um, because well he's supplying them for a reason isn't he ah if I can stop dropping them that's my big chunky antenna fingers again so I'll just lay these on top with the burr oh I don't know I mean the chances are this will be like this forever anyway so I think I can just lay that on top and then silly me what I have noticed is he actually supplies a tool I was looking for mine just find a thread hopefully it's the right size it is number one Right, so this is the final upgrade. It's had the voice unit, it's now got the TCXO. To be honest, I've got no idea how some of these things work, but I just wanted to be more accurate on my frequency, particularly as I went up to 10 meters and six meters. And it will stop the drift as well on things like um, FT8. You know the first half an hour because this is a traditional the last of the big radios all right we shut up put on the other side and then we can have a little look at it <clears throat> right let's have a look I'll show you well to be honest I'm dead chuffed with this so um, we're going away on the 13th of August it's a Saturday night big bunch of us the six six amateurs going we'll use this radio probably with an amplifier and uh, so you'll hear us we might live stream that so remember to hit the you might have to hit the bell if, if you want to be notified of our live stream we'll be 1500 feet up we'll go right up to two meters not with this we'll be doing two meters on uh, either the ts2000 or 705 or something um but this will be going up to six meters on from 40 maybe a bit of 80 as well who knows all right so we'll see how that tcxo mod happened when we go away in the meantime thanks for tuning in today next video is coming up all the best and i'll see you next time Bye for now. Cheerio.